What's up guys, Alex is 97 here. I'm here to do a review of Infamous First Light. So, let's get started. Abigail Walker, a young conduit in the DUP's custody in their prison, Curtin K, is er is ordered to give a demonstration of her powers to one Brooke Augustine, whom using the powers of another conduit generously supplies holographic bows for Abigail to kill. Once that is done, Abigail is told to tell the events that led up to her arrest. Seven years earlier, Abigail was one of the first of the new conduits who emerged following the beast's rampage across the countryside. Um, okay, so... Basically, this game was really good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed, like, the combat systems, the neon powers that Fetch had, and the story was kind of short. I, I, it was so short that I beat it in the first day that I downloaded it. And yeah, it's okay. That's okay for me since it's a free game from PlayStation. If you're a PlayStation Plus member, you can download it for free this month. And I beat the game in about two to four hours. And yeah, it was it was fine. I mean, I like the fighting system. It was really good. The characters, they were really well developed really well done the graphics yeah I, I really enjoyed the graphics and the game the gameplay um about the gameplay it has like with a few exceptions abigail's powers play identically to dawson rose neon powers but first light introduces a few new features Neon races. Abigail can chase down floating balls of neon gas and conduit energy called lumens that reward her with skill points to increase her powers. Arena challenges. Both Abigail Walker and Delson Rowe can fight against hordes of holographic enemies in arena challenges inside Curtain K. So, yeah, I think Curtain K is, yeah, a city? I don't know. Like, I, I sorry, I have ADD. ADD, so I try to fight off my <laughs> disorder. So, yeah, I have a little ADD, but I don't want to talk about that right now. So, anyway, completing challenges reward the player with skill points that they can use to upgrade their abilities. A new enemy exclusive to the arena is a new enemy faction. Demons with their own unique powers and abilities. So... <clears throat> I enjoyed the story playing as Fetch, as a female for, for, you know, for a change. I mean, yeah, I played the, I played Second Son. It was good. I mean, it was longer than this one, but since this is like some side campaign game, I'll accept that. So yeah, there were a lot of cool fighting combat scenes that I enjoyed playing as, so I'm providing some gameplay here of me fighting or doing stuff. And I actually, yeah, I enjoyed doing some of the side missions, like how you can use your um, spray paint. It's not really a spray paint, but your neon powers to... To draw on the walls or tag stuff. I mean, I can't really explain that, but it was really good. I enjoyed doing the the races that you do, like you race down, chase some kind of glowy thingy, and the free roaming that you go to those speeding swirly things. That's really fun, and the fact how you could jump high. It was really good. Really, really good. And I enjoyed playing as Fetch. It was fun. And yeah, she has a brother that helped her, like, calm her power, calm her down. She was like, 
um, trying to teach her not to use her powers often, like, never use, like, she didn't, he didn't want her to use her powers ever again as much as possible, and yeah, the story was really great, how they, how she really, how they really care about each other, her and Brent, you know, the usual, just like any other campaign, so I don't want to make this long. So I'm going to say the story was eh, too short. Probably give that a 6 out of 10. The gameplay, really, I, I enjoyed it. The graphics, art. I actually loved it. The graphics, of course, since it's a next-gen PS4 exclusive. 1080p? I really enjoyed it. I loved the graphics, the map, the areas you could free roam in, all that crap. <laughs> So yeah, the combat, I know I keep repeating myself, but I just wanted to say that I really loved the game. Not really loved the game, but I just didn't, I just, my only, um, doubt, I don't know, is that I didn't like the fact that this game was really too short than Second Son. Because you know how I beat it on the day that I got it. <laughs> really short, but... Yeah, it was worth the free game. So, yeah, I really loved it. I'll be looking forward to. I'm just wondering, like, um, looking for. I'll be looking forward to future infamous games if there'll I'll ever be. And yeah. So yeah, sucker punch. All I have to say is <clears throat> keep up the great work with your games, especially for infamous. I played all three of them, and yeah, I'll be looking forward to them, and I guess that's all I have to say. So, I'll see you guys later in my future reviews, or gameplay, or whatever, and I do plan to do some Let's Plays or something, I don't really know yet. So until then, peace out.